So today we're going to walk through the new Lightburn uh, material test file that Thunder Laser has created for everyone. Um, this is actually not just one file like the, the card that I personally kind of swear by um, used to be. This one's a little bit more complicated um, because it's, it's separate cards depending upon uh, what you're looking for. I do love that they have um, faster speed options um, on, on these tests. So I'm, I'm very much specifically using it today because I know that um, the material that I'm, I'm going to be using can handle those speeds. We recently purchased a very large um, batch of 3 mil Baltic Birch and I know that every material, depending upon the manufacturer, has different settings that work. So I need to find optimal settings for our machines um, with this new material and just to make sure that it'll work for anybody else in case we decide to sell some because we really purchased a lot. So let's get started. So we start by going to Thunder Laser USA's website. Um, I just do a generic internet search, Thunder Laser USA, uh, material test file, and then I get it to come up. Um, and they have um, a video here talking about it. Uh, we're going to scroll down, um, and uh, they've got lots of things uh, walking you through some of these things. Now, here is the, um, and then we're doing this for the Nova series. This is not for the Bolt um, today. Um, we're going to do the, the flat material cuts. Um, and then this is what the, the cards look like. Um, so with all the different rainbow colors, we'll talk about that in a little bit. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to get past, you know, the, the engraved tests that are also available. Um, we'll get down here. So at almost the very bottom is the file download links. That's where you're going to want to download. So again, today we're doing the Nova series um, cut. So we're going to want to download that. I'm pretty sure the ones that I downloaded were thin. Don't hold me to that. Um, so once you get these downloaded, you're going to um, get into Lightburn. Um, so I already have it loaded here. Um, when I download these types of files, I like to save them all in one place. I have a dedicated Lightburn folder um, that I keep some of these things in. Um, the, the material tests, the, the, the gold card settings, you know, for your scanning offsets and some of the other things like that. I like to have an extra backup saved. So I have all of that stuff that's kind of related to, to Lightburn. Um, or more, you know, very kind of specific and not like a project thing is all saved in my Lightburn folder to make it easy to find later. Okay, so here I'm opening it up um, where I have it saved in my special Lightburn um, folder. I just had it open and I'm opening it again. Okay. When you open the, the file up, it's going to have project notes. Um, and you need to make sure that you read this through the first time so that you kind of understand um, what's going to be happening because it's a little bit confusing if you've never opened up one of these types of files before. So you can, you can read through everything um, that it says. Pretty much just don't mess with it. Leave it. Leave all of the settings as is. Um, it's going to look a little scary when you go over to the speed and power and they all almost all say a hundred percent and you're like, whoa, whoa, that's not what I want to do. That's not really what it's doing. There's a power scale that's been applied. Also on one of these layers, um, there's also a, um, a split or perforation mode has been applied. So when I ran it for the first time, I'm like, wait, this green line goes all the way through from top to bottom, but on my piece. It's just staggered. It's designed that way. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Okay. Now I am going to um, delete out the things that I don't need. I've already read um, this information. I know it's set to, to a tool, later, tool layer, but I just, I just get it out of the way too. I know with this material, I am not going to, um, to need these lower 
power settings, um, anything um, below 50%, um, because I've already run similar materials. So I know that I can just delete, delete that out. I don't need that. I don't want to do this big one either because I really don't want to be cutting this at 90 and 100% power. I can. It's not going to hurt the machine. Just not my preference. Um, so I deleted out that large one. I'm also going to delete out the 90% and 100% um, test cards here as well. Now, I'm left with the test cards that I actually want to run. So it's speeds ranging from 50 millimeters a second all the way up to 125 millimeters a second. I do not expect anything above 100, above 80, 90 to be cutting, but we're just going to go ahead and, and run it anyway. Um, so you select it, it's all already grouped. I'm gonna ungroup them all. Click through, ungroup them all. Now, where it says material name, I can edit that um, to say exactly what I want it to say. So make sure it's selected. Um, use your, your text tool over here. Come over, put it where you want it, and then just delete. I added that this is um, Baltic Birch New, so I know exactly what material this is. Um, sometimes I'll add um, the thickness, so three mil, quarter inch, whatever. And, um, and, and um, what machine, what machine I'm using too. So I'll go ahead and add that as well because I may also run these tests over on our 80 watt machine. So 130 watt. That way we know exactly uh, what we're working with. It just makes it a little bit easier because I keep all of these so that I can reference back later. Okay, now that we have um, the these properly labeled um, with what the material is and which machine we're using them on, I am going to, for the sake of saving some material, and I'm going to just move them a little bit closer. So I select, I use the arrow key, and I move it over until it's approximately the distance that I'm comfortable with. Um, I've got my origin um, set where I want it based on my workpiece. So I'm in the lower left-hand corner. Now let's send this to the laser. Okay, now that we have everything turned back on, um, I had everything turned off so it was a little bit quieter in the shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and send. Yep, we, we're fine with what it's being called. We're gonna click OK and now it has sent to the laser. This is always what you want to do, is send to the laser. You don't want to be hitting start and light burn. It just causes glitches in the matrix. Okay, so these just finished cutting. As you can see, uh, we already have some pieces that, that dropped out. Um, so let's go ahead and take these out and then uh, we can see how well they did. So this one's at 60% power. You can see obviously that top one already cut through. but a couple of them there just needed a, a quick little little nudge. This is not wanting to come out, so I'm not even gonna bother with it. Let's go to the next. This one is the 70% power. Again, not really wanting to come out, so I'm just gonna leave it. And we've got the 80%. There could be some, uh, looks like some, some dense glue spots in this one. Uh, again, that, that's why we're running these tests because it is a man-made material and inconsistencies like that happen. So when you uh, pull these out of the machine and you're trying to line up, so these numbers here on the left and on the right, that's your speed, um, millimeters a second. 
um, and then obviously the percentage power here, each card has its own percentage, um, but then it runs the same speeds um, on, on all of these three cards that I chose. Um, and then the 50% power is this block here that it removed, 55% power is this block here that it removed, 60% power, this block here, and so on. It was a just a, I don't know, blonde moment, a hair confusing for me when I first looked at it, but it all makes sense now. So I just wanted to give that little bit of explanation in case anybody else needed it. So I find it very interesting that the same speeds worked for all three different powers. Um, so I'm probably gonna stick with 60% power to avoid uh, flashback and things and um, you know the the starting points and stuff like that um, when I when I actually run a real file with these so it's it's funny how stuff um, turns out again man-made material there could be denser glue spots things like that but uh, I hope this helps y'all have a great day